on business I'm a big stepper, underground methods. Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you a full car edit in After Effects. In this video you will learn how to make your first car real and make it look smooth and professional in a very basic steps. This video is a bit longer and I hope you will enjoy it too. If this video will get more views than usual on AM Film, I will drop more tutorials like this with more effects and show you all the secrets that professional editors are using in their edits. And now let's begin improving your skills. Here I have my 5 raw clips with no stabilization and a song that I'm going to use. First what we are going to do is, we should set a markers on every beat drop so we could know where should we cut the videos and sync every single clip with the music. Press L button twice on your keyboard to open a waveform and see all beat drops, I have already set markers on beats, to mark them, simply scroll to the beat drop and press star on your keyboard. Once you are done with it, we can begin editing our speed ramp video. Right click on your first clip and go to time and enable time remapping. By moving this time forward, I can choose the beginning of the clip. Once you are happy with it, jump to your first beat drop, scroll there or press K on your keyboard. Now choose the ending of your speed ramp by moving this time forward. Once you're satisfied, cut the rest of your clip, move your another clip or press open bracket button on your keyboard, and now let's do the same on that video. I won't speed up the video so you can clearly see what I'm doing. In my case I will use 5 clips, if you are making a 15 seconds edit, simply do the same steps. Now I will trim my work area and let's continue editing. Once you are done with speed ramping your clips, time to make a smooth curves in graph editor. Let's select first clips keyframes and then press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Now go to graph editor, right click here and select, edit value graph and make a smooth curve like mine. By moving this yellow line up, I speed up my video at a beginning. And by moving second line down, I speed up the ending of my clip. This curve means that, my video will speed up then slow down and speed up in the end. Make sure your curve is the same and make sure the lines are not too long like this. That will ruin the whole your speed ramp. Keep your lines smooth like in the tutorial. Once you are done with the curve, make sure to enable frame blending on your video. Click here twice until you see an arrow. And now let's jump to another video and simply do the same steps. I won't speed up the video or cut, so you can see everything clearly. Let's check how it looks like with just a speed ramping and a smooth curves. Speed ramping is done and we can now jump to another step. It's very important to stabilize your videos, otherwise it will be shaky and won't look cool. These clips are shot using a gimbal and it still needs to be stabilized. Always take your time and make sure your videos are stabilized and smooth. First of all let's pre-compose your clip. Make sure to select move all attributes and adjust composition duration and you can rename it to whatever you want and then hit OK. Now go to tracker tab and click on stabilize motion. Let's move track point on cars part that you want to lock on. For example I will lock on the wheel. Make track point a bit bigger to make analyzing smoother. Click on options now. Check adapt feature on every frame and change it to stop tracking and set the value to 95. That means if your analyzing goes wrong or something will happen while analyzing. After Effects will stop tracking for you and you will be able to correct the track point and then continue analyzing again. Hit OK now and click on Analyze Forward. Wait until it's done. Once analyzing is finished, click on Edit Target and hit OK. Now click on Apply and hit OK again. The video is now stabilized and locked on the wheel I have tracked on. 
but now you will see the black edge here. To fix that, you can scale your video until it's gone, or if you don't want to scale the video you can add motion tile effect on that clip. Check mirror edges and then change output height and width to 200. Black edges are gone and the video looks better. Now simply do the same stabilizing on all of your clips. I won't speed up that part as well. If you want to skip any part from this video, use chapters on YouTube to jump on another editing steps. I guess you already know how to make it and you should simply do the same on other clips. I will cut that part from here and let's jump to another step. But before, let's check how it looks like when you stabilize your footage. That's better already. Stabilized speed ramping is done and it means we can begin adding effects. The effects is more depends on you what you will add in your videos, or how you want your video to look like and so on. In this tutorial I will show you only two effects and how to track them in your video and make them look nice. If this video will get more likes and views, I promise, I will share more series like this but with more and amazing effects. Before we add anything on our video, make sure to pre-compose your clip. Now let's go to tracker and track the camera. Wait until the analyzing is done. Once it's done, scroll your video to find good points. Then select track points in your video. Right click and select, set ground plane and origin. Right click again and select, create solid and camera. Move track solid and 3D tracker camera layers above your clip. Then make sure to cut track solid. Now I will add explosion effect in my background. Check this video's description to download this footage for free. Let's move the explosion layer above track solid and then link it to track solid and enable 3D on explosion layer. Press S on your keyboard and scale the explosion. Then correct X, Y and Z rotation and then position it. In my case explosion is slow, I will speed it up. Right click on it, go to time and select time stretch. I will change stretch factor to 40. That looks better now. Cut the explosion now and then let's position it right there where you want it to be. Scale if needed. Now we should roto brush the car to make explosion behind the car. Duplicate your video and move it above explosion layer. Delete 3D tracker on it and rename that layer to car only. Grab a roto brush tool now and double click on car only layer. Roto brush the car as smooth as possible. Once you are satisfied with it, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Make sure to toggle off that track solid layer and let's check if everything is cool. I will move the explosion down a bit. And everything looks fine to me. Let's jump to another effect now. Note, I'm doing it randomly just to show you, in your case, be creative and take your time with the effects. Here for example I will add a tornado effect. But first, pre-compose your clip. Then go to tracker and hit on track camera. As the analyzing is done, select some points in the background. Then right click and select, set ground plane and origin. Right click again and select, create solid and camera. Move track solid and 3D camera layers right above the clip. Then cut track solid layer to match the clip's length. Now let's add a tornado footage. I will leave a download link for this one as well. Move tornado above track solid and then link it to track solid and enable 3D on tornado. Press S on your keyboard and scale it. Now correct X, Y and Z rotations and then reposition it. Now make sure to cut tornado layers beginning. You can also now duplicate it and make them too. Position another one and then scale it. And now we have two tornadoes. Let's cut the ending of tornado layers. 
Let's duplicate your clip now and move it above tornado layers and then rename it to car only. Delete 3D camera tracker and then grab a roto brush tool and double click on car only layer. Make sure to scroll to very beginning of car only layer and roto brush the car as smooth as possible. Once you're satisfied with it, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. That looks cool to me. Make sure to toggle off track solid layer and we can jump to another step, motion blur. That's the one of the most important things when you make speed ramps, motion blur is a real game changer and you have free and paid options. Free motion blur version is an effect called CC force motion blur and a paid version is my favorite one, RSMB Pro. If you still don't have it, simply follow me on Instagram and write me a word, plugins, and I will send you RSMB Pro and many more other plugins for free. Before we apply a motion blur, make sure to pre-compose your clip and effect layers into one layer. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Now let's apply RSMB Pro on that layer. Set use GPU to on, change blur amount to around 0.8. And now let's check before and after motion blur. You will agree that with motion blur speed ramps look 101% better. Now simply do the same steps on all layers, I will skip that part cause it's not that hard to do. And now let's jump to the most wanted and the most needed part, shake effects. I will skip that part cause I have already made a shake tutorials. Also I have created 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks like with my shake preset. Hope this video will help you a lot with your edits. If you have enjoyed it, please like this video and let me know in the comments if I should do more basic and pro edit tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.